Welcome to Pipes Around the House. Today I'm doing some repair jobs under my floorboards, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you that on an old Victorian house, solid brick walls aren't always built and supported quite how you think they might be. So just to give you some perspective, we're going to be looking at the wall underneath there in a minute. That's under the floorboards on the landing. You've got my stairs going down to the ground floor there. Here's my landing. We've got the new stairs going up to the loft conversion there. And here is a solid brick wall. I'm now going to go downstairs towards the ground floor. And here is the solid brick wall below. So coming back up the stairs. I'm now going to show you the solid brick wall below and what happens when it gets to the first floor. So if you look down here, that is the wall. So although we've got a solid brick wall on top, if you look down below, you've got the solid brick wall, you've got what looks like a bit of old lime mortar, and then you've got this lath here. That was a lath and plaster ceiling. And then you've actually got this void here. And you can see then there's a joist under there. And then we've got the joist here, joist there, and so on. So what they've actually done is built the four walls around the house. They've then built one wall at the middle, which is solid all the way up there with solid lintels. And this is why we chose this one as part of the loft conversion to support the joists on. Then these joists will run from one side of the house to the other side of the house using this solid wall in the middle to support them. They then brick around those right the way to the top. And as I said, where I've now used that to support my joists in the loft. However, when you come back to here, it shows that the ceiling was obviously built first and then that wall underneath was built up to the ceiling. And then you've got this void. They build the floor here with all the floorboards. So then this is all one big open space. And then on top of that, they then build another brick wall. And this is purely supported on these floorboards. So if you look down there, you can see the void and you can see there's a joist just in there. So it's not even supported on a joist specifically. It's relying on these floorboards. Now, before I bought the house, you've got a plumber that's obviously come in here, done all this plumbing work right here cut through these floorboards there. Now these are providing a little bit of support for this brick wall above. So being the fact they're right on the end, you'll notice we've got this movement here over the years. And it's what's happened is this floor has basically sagged a bit. And as a result, the weight of this brick wall is trying to tilt down and, and pull away from that wall. Now this brick wall here, again, I know this because I took the house to pieces, is built with the old Victorian bricks turned up on end. So it's effectively the equivalent of a modern day stud timber partition wall. Now you notice down here, all I've done is a bit of a botch, you could call it, but I've just been trying to support these floorboards to stop this wall trying to move at the end anymore and just spread the load across the wall below so that it just takes the weight and it should stop this movement because it's a pain because I'm gonna have to put some cork in that when I redecorate it and I don't want any more shifting of that. I am gonna be decorating this soon. So as part of this, I thought let's try and get that sorted, work out what's going on. I've also in here just been putting some um, braces between these joists as well, because sometimes if a floor moves like that, you find it dips down, one joist moves, it tries to twist the other. And you can see here that this joist was slightly twisted uh, this way. So I've just been putting some um, noggins in basically to try and reduce the amount of twist on these. Obviously bear in mind, these joists are Victorian. So about 1890, so what we're talking about 130 years old. So they're not doing bad. You'd expect a bit of movement anyway over, over that amount of time. But doing stuff like this just helps stiffen it up and reduces any more movement. So hopefully you can see from this video now that just because you have an old house with what appears to be a solid brick wall, it isn't necessarily load bearing and it isn't necessarily all that solid either. And this is something that you need to consider if you're thinking of embarking on projects like extensions or loft conversions or anything like that. So if you found this video useful, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.